underneath it all, who are we sexually? Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos, with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only. Thank you for joining us for the continuation of this episode. Please enjoy the program and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. So let me let me let me bring it to to how um some persons see it. So now we yeah. know that biologically masturbation is simply our body's response to right. stimulus. Uh-huh. But if we look at it where it, it it connects our minds, our emotions, our spirit, then we can probably think about it in a different way. When you think about what masturbation involves, ladies and gentlemen, the thought yeah. processes, and I see um Satin Brownie asking if it's yeah. a sin. So let's look at it. Now, when we think about the thought processes involved, the visuals that are sometimes used or conjured, that's where you find that fine line. That oh, is wow. why masturbation most often often than not requires you know like porn pornography erotica Mm -hmm. or some kind of mental fantasy in Mm -hmm. addition with the physical action to get off now felicia masonheimer she's the writer of the blog every woman a theologian she provides her answer on the question by highlighting some principles at play that can help us to see god's heart on this now she's saying masturbation can become addictive and it focuses our minds on the flesh rather than the spirit Spirit, because we have to indulge our fantasies and images contributing to the habit and because of this we further strengthen the flesh over the spirit now can you imagine you're thinking you're you're thinking about a person in a certain position and how you'd want them and that is what consumes your mind in a way, we're already lusting, don't it? Yes, that's true. And, and, and yeah, you get what I'm saying. So she yes, was looking at true. it in that way yeah. when we are starting to lust after the person and you know picturing them in sexually explicit ways yes. because that's how some persons do get off. You know oh, what I'm so saying? You have to have. Yeah. So Sat Brown is right. saying so the act may not be sinful, but it can lead to can sin. lead to sinning. Yeah, because you you, 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 you go you go overboard with it. You get yeah. so caught up into it because I, I was I, that was a very important and I taught health in high school. Mm-hmm. And um that was a big question. I had the children on Fridays when they do the exams, they, they had to leave questions in the box. So I, what mm-hmm. I do take the stuff out the box, took it home, research and came back to answer the question. Yes. And yes. most of them asked about masturbation. Mm-hmm. These yes. are high school, yes. these were 11th graders. Exactly, you know? and they were very much. But then I was reading some of the things with these young people. They got so caught up in it that it become it overwhelmed them. Them, yes, yes. And, and, and yes. matter of fact, they were they were exposed to it by by people around them. Mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. and, and uh, people were doing it in front of them, and then they started looking at different things. You know, things, yeah, on the TV and stuff like that. Because you know, your brain right. is so young and immature. So you start looking at sex from all different angles. Angles, it's yeah. A problem. So yeah, that they struggled yeah. a lot with that question, you know. And then I was reading the different things that the young people were struggling with. Oh my goodness, it was just really, you know, heartbreaking to see. Oh my right. god, they're so inundated with with sex and not know how to channel certain things. So it becomes right. overwhelming, you know. And, right. you and if that. And, and and that's the thing. If you are not careful, it consumes you and gives way to other, as you would have read, other issues. You become, you know, addicted to pornography. Yes. You know what I'm saying? You, you become addicted to masturbation in and of itself. Yes. While it's a good way to get to know yourself and what pleasure points brings you the most pleasure right. mm-hmm. if you do it you overdo it and have all of these images in your head it real you realize that okay you're reliant on that yes you know i remember um there were there was someone who had um reached out to me once and they were saying that listen i feel like i can't get going until i start watching pornography wow. so i'm saying okay how did it become that and yes. he said because when he was younger that was all he did that was all he did wow you so he was exposed at a young age 
Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So when you feed your mind with that and always, 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 you find that it becomes a problem yes. for you in, yes. in the future. Yes. So here's Satin Bernie saying, so yes. is it healthy in moderation if one does not become addicted? Is there an extent to which there is learning my body, lusting and addiction? You know, when they call, they talk about gateway drug and they say like marijuana is like a gateway drug. Yeah. Sometimes I don't believe it. But when you talk about gateway, mm -hmm. sometimes when you open something, yes. you're not even, you don't even realize Pandora's that you open oh, Pandora's That's box. right. <laughs> you don't even realize that you're gone way yeah. deep into yeah. it. Yeah. You, you, if you do too into. much to excess, it, it, what, what the Bible says, anything you do to excess is a sin. Exactly. So exactly. you got to keep things at a balance. You got to be able to, that's why they even, people talk about yoga. I was even uh -huh. talking about yoga. You know, they even said Christians should not do yoga because you're, 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 your mind is in a different space. Mm. And I'm mm. like, oh, wow. Because I, I did some reading on that. I said, interesting. You know, because yeah. I, I used to do yoga and I was reading that. Your mind is a place where the spirit, you know, because it's in a different spirit world. Spirit world. Mm -hmm. It's not so much connected to the spirit that we're talking about, mm. you know. And I'm like, okay, all right. So you 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 are pulling in certain entities into your body. Wow. And I'm like, oh, wow. okay. You know. So I I kind of mm. I said, okay, I don't want to do all of that. No. So I kind of so yeah. so anything you're doing, you know, and and if after a while you don't feel comfortable with it, stop. Stop. To stop if it's consuming you, yes. just try yes. to do something to stop. Yes. And yes. as as I think there's a comment from UME Radio, don't go there without a way of coming back. That's and they right. shared shared the um the experience of a friend who was in a relationship with, with a partner, partner who would have sex with her but had to masturbate in order to ejaculate. I've no, I've read those things. I've read those those things. Those things happen too. Yes. So can you imagine I've read you're that. in this relationship and you're having what you think is pleasurable sex, but in order to ejaculate, the person has to masturbate in order to get there. It's not regular sex in you, order you, you to You know what that means, there. though, Lady Jane? Do you know what that means? That he was doing mm. this a long time. A long time. So his body oh. is conditioned to right. that. Like I said, classical conditioning. <laughs> yeah, yes, you're conditioned to it, you. so he don't really need nobody. He didn't really need you her. know. He didn't know. Yeah, you so know. Abandoned the apartment all the time. It's the climax. That's yeah. crazy. That's ridiculous. That's crazy. So if you're gonna do all of that, you don't need your partner then. Don't need her. You don't need her. You could do all. You could help enjoy you yourself all by, by yourself. yourself. The day you die. You can do it by yourself. No, see, 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 I would. I, I don't ever want to get to there. No, I don't ever want to get so there. So careful. That's what you have to be so careful. Uh, certain things that you're doing, you have to be very careful because exactly. it, it's on the engine. You say lusting. The Bible says even if, even if you look at a, a, a woman, you're lusting at her. That's it. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, so you really got to, you know you know, know how to draw the line. Yeah. Yeah. Know your so here's this, here's this other one, Lady yeah. Faith. Is oral sex considered sex outside of marriage? And another question that I want to tie onto it, is oral sex wrong? Okay. That's I got another question. <laughs> I, got, I got something here on it. Okay. Is oral sex considered sex outside of marriage? Well, well, oral sex is is having sex. Okay, define oral sex. Oral sex is using the mouth on the genitals to mm -hmm. execute sexually arouse or bring it to climax. Oral sex performed on a woman is called con coniglius. Okay, it's conilingus. Conilingus. conilingus, something like that. <laughs> the word comes from the Latin root word cunus, which means vulv vulva and linger lingery. L I N G E R E. Mm -hmm. Oh, lingerie. Lingerie. Okay, lingerie. Because I thought it was some sexual thing. I <laughs> which means to lick. Mm -hmm. Cunilingus is oral stimulation, the clitoris or vulva for a person who licks the vulva. 
Okay, so it involves the licking, nibbling, or sucking of a female clitoris and vulval area. Oral sex performed on the male is called fellatio. Fellatio yeah. is from the Latin word filere, which means the sucking or an oral simulation of the penis. It involves the licking, nibbling, or sucking of the penis and testicles. So even an animal killed the kingdom. I'm reading this book. Am I talking about this book? How to stop the other woman from from um from taking uh from from stealing your husband. So it was written by an apostle. <laughs> okay, the book, unfortunately, you can't get in the what Amazon. The book? Yeah, I have the apostle. What book? Yes, the apostle wrote this book, and the book is highly wow. sexual, you know, and some serious stuff is in here, you know. <laughs> I need that unfortunately, book. Unfortunately, this book is not in print. I tried to get another copy on Amazon and it wasn't oh there. My goodness. I even went to the website of the apostle and I couldn't get it. Apostle <sighs> Lois Green up. And this is this is back in the uh, 1990s. Yes, when he brought this book out, he came to the church, the women's conference, conference, and he he was talking about this. So I make sure. Wow. <laughs> yes. So he was talking about different positions. Talk about the church because he's an apostle. So he yes. talked about the church and oral sex. Okay. And um, yeah. So I said, let me just take it from his point of view. It said mm -hmm. many husbands are fascinated by oral sex they even go to prostitutes or the other woman mm -hmm, oral mm -hmm. sex okay some eat a banana peach cherry strawberries and orange or drink fruit juices while performing oral sex they will pour or rub fruit juices honey jelly or chocolate on their mates bodies skin or hey. genitals, and lick it off hey the man <laughs> oral sex <laughs> is like a baby sucking on the mother's breast the male penis is like a woman's breast erection. The man's sperm or semen is like a mother's milk. And a woman's mouth is like a baby's lips to suck, nurse, and milk a husband's penis. Now, you know, this isn't, this isn't a posse right in this book, okay? Now, listen, All right. hello. Okay. All right. Many women are repulsed by oral sex, partially because they feel that their genitals, as well as the genitals of their husbands, are dirty, ugly, mm -hmm. and unclean. To these yeah. wives, I recommend... Uh, the book "Woman Love Your Body." <laughs> a woman needs to learn to love her body as well as a husband's body. This includes yes. your genitals and your husband's genitals. To the man, in most cases, oral sex is stimulating of the five alive sensations: the mm -hmm. sight of the female vaginal lips with with their pink and red color change, and a set of a mm. moist, wet vagina turn men on hello mouth sucking licking and lapping his wife's vagina is a turn on yes the sir smell, scent and fragrance of her female secretion stimulate him yeah not before the touch of his mouth lips and tongue on her vagina and clitoris, clitoris turn him on number five the taste of her feminine fluids and sexual secretions ex 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 excite him then he says here the devil has told men, Christian men included, mm -hmm. through movies, magazines, and other media that there are three options for his penis. Your mouth, your vagina, mm -hmm. and your rectum. Mm -hmm. Whatever he has seen or heard, he wants to try it out with you. We must remember that Christian men aren't exempt from Satan attacks on the mind and the, the imagination. Some mm -hmm. husbands attempt to force oral sex upon their wives to point to the lit to point to literal taking advantage. You know what I mean? Yes, Some yes, yes. Their wives because of the abstinence of oral sex. Okay, my opinion is that men are sick like that. <laughs> okay, mm -hmm. and I've heard women. I've heard Christian women said because some of them are of unsafe husbands and they would not perform oral sex and their husbands broke up with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brown so, said, you <laughs> so in, in that sense, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at the context that we're talking about, outside of that context, oral sex would be, in a sense, wrong. Because if you're not having it with your husband or right. your wife, right. In the spiritual Christian right. right. faith-based context, right. anything that has to do with the stimulation of your sex organs outside of what it is biblically prescribed to be, it would be considered wrong. But yes, let me tell is. you, in your relationship, 
it's yours. It's a go. What you do with your spouse is a green light. You know what your I'm business. saying? Right. It's your business. You know, Hebrews um 13 verse 4 says the marriage is honorable, honorable. All and the bed yes. undefiled. Yes. So exactly. this is an That's obvious correct. reference. Yes. You get what yes. I'm saying, Lady Faith, to yeah. our sexual relationship. Sex in marriage is beautiful. Whatever the expression. Whatever the expression, if you want to do penetration, if you, or if you want yes. to just do fellatio, if you want Maybe to do cuddling, right. exactly. that is what it is. It's yes. beautiful and it is unique to you. Yes, it is. Yeah. If it is something that is shared only between you two, what is That's shared right. with you, how can that expression be wrong? All right. So it can so be wrong. It can't because another thing too is, um, uh, you know. As long as you, if you're doing it, if you're not married and you're doing it, that's a sin. Mm -hmm. You you don't have to penetrate for you to be sinning, right? Okay, you're doing that. That's that's only designed for marriage, and God yeah. only designed sex for marriage anyway. People doing yeah. other things, they want to do other stuff with it, you know. True, people true, doing something true. got no business doing, and that's why you got all this craziness going on here now. Craziness, you know? yeah. Because people took it out of. When you take it out of the context of how God designed it and put it to your own self selfish mindset, then it becomes mm. distorted and it, it, it lacks all the, the excitement that it would have, you know, had you yeah. done it the way God intended it to be. And it to the, yeah. No. So anything yeah. outside of marriage, it's just sin. I'm right. Sorry. Now, here, here's a question. And I think I need to, to do a show on this lady, lady Faith, because, yeah. you know, this is right yeah. up my alley. Yeah. Sutton yeah. Brownie asks, yeah. Yeah, what about yes. those who struggle with right. it? Okay. What if one partner just wants to keep it regular penis to vagina? And that's such a rough spot to be in. That is such yes. a rough spot to be in, especially if it is something that you want to explore with your partner remember i'm always talking to people about be, being sex explorative you need to sex explore so if a part of your sex exploration when you do your research and all of that you find that all right fellatio is pleasurable cunnilingus is pleasurable but i have a partner that does not want to do it what do i do what do i do ladies and gentlemen i won't say don't pack up and leave but it is if it is something that you're convinced about it is something that you have to gradually introduce you can't just throw it on them and as they jump on the bed they just open your legs or you put the person head down to go fillet you no man gradually talk about it it has to be a conversation that you have over time ladies and gentlemen with your, well, your, your James, partner it's, it's yes. a conversation before you get married. Trust me. True, true, true. True, true, true. A lot of pastors don't bring up the sexual part of it. Yes, when yes. They yes, don't it's bring up true. the sexual part of it. And it's key because that's where a lot of issues between the money and the sex is two different things. Okay? Yeah. And, yeah. and, and, and that's where the issues, you got men leaving their wives because they're not doing this and not doing that in bed. Exactly. They're not, they're not, they can't get an orgasm. They can't do this. Mm -hmm. I mean, I mean, there's a foolish reason just to leave your wife. But you know, if you had these conversations, if they were brought up before, then you know where each other's head is at. Exactly. He want to know what I'm gonna go through this or not because I really does. He likes this. I'm like, oh my god, how can I do? How can I wrap my head around it? You know, if you really love him, then you try to come to a place where place of yes. where, you know where where you can um. You know, uh, uh, you know, kind of understand each other. You know, there was mm -hmm. there was something. I, I funny you bring that up. There was a case here. One wife uh, sent a letter to the to the apostle, and she said, "I enjoy having oral oral sex with my husband, but the thing that frustrates frustrates me is when he tries to make it law. He has gotten so used to me performing oral sex on him that he is spoiled. Here is the kicker." When I ask him to do me in return, he says no in so many ways. I'm like, what? He tells me he isn't accustomed to doing what it. And it's hard for him to do it because that's not him. What? Uh, well, it uh, makes me feel like I'm a cheap whore, less than a woman. Mm. He's very selfish when it comes to this. I'm, I'm Stop, like, what? You. <laughs> Stop, game. Oh, My girl, come, come off. I need it. Come off any of them, girl. 
Get up, girl, that get selfish. up. That was selfish. So when they, girl, they had the, the apostle, he counseled them and he kind of changed yes. their perspective. Good. Good. Oh my good, goodness. Good, yeah. Good, good, good. And yes, Satin Brownie, we can yes, explore yes, without can. oral sex. Yes, we can. can. Because sex exploration is not just okay. All right. right, this time I'm gonna try oral sex. No, man, there are other things to try. It could be a position that you want to try. It's just all about sex exploration. Sex exploration could be just using your hands. You know, there's a yes, point I wanted exactly. to bring about, you know, masturbation. Exactly. Mutual masturbation within marriage ain't wrong. No, it's not. It's not. No. It's not. Because oh, it's a way to get to know your exactly, and yeah. it's a way to get to know each other's bodies yes, and exactly. what pleases them. That's so right. when you're looking at the whole idea of oral sex being wrong within the context, it's not. No, and it's not. I want persons, no. especially you know, married Christians, to know that yes. you can explore different ways of pleasure if yes. that is something that is. Is, is important to you. Explore different ways to bring pleasure. Oral sex is one. You know, the marriage bed is on the file, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, Whatever you do in your marriage is between you and That's your husband. your business. Nobody got to know yes. what you're doing. Your pastor doesn't exactly. know what you're doing either. Exactly. Exactly. The pastors were getting involved. In, when I did my sex tape, my sex CD, and that part of it was talking about oral sex, and I brought it, I was at a, a nail salon, the lady was, talking to me and she said my pastor said you're not supposed to do that sex is because we, we use our mouth to worship god we shouldn't use our mouth to do that too i said well you part of you also worship oh, god oh, but you, have you to worship, worship. what you say what i you said your say? pastor said that what you used to be a pastor for your pastor ain't got a business in your bedroom <laughs> no man what <laughs> do? <laughs> you mean really said so when she said sex tape my eyes popped open oh. She corrected herself. She corrected herself. Oh, she forgot my sex <laughs> She forgot my sex My sex That's CD. right. The CD. The CD. You got to get it online. <laughs> Listen, the devil has a way of twisting yes. sex. And they yes. have allowed us as human beings to just feel like, say, sex is something dirty yes. and wrong it is yeah. to the point where people feel wrong and dirty yeah. just talking about it you get what i'm saying the devil yeah. has dominated sexuality in our culture so it much has. it's it to has. the extent where we think being a christian and sexual anything sexual is not only boring it is exclusive them different from each other so yes. christian and sex are two different something and that not for one only when you're married and when you're married is just one thing as i said earlier lady faith is just missionary yeah man yes. because you know we're all missionaries of the gospel <laughs> yeah, i never thought about that part <laughs> Listen, ladies and gentlemen, God created sex. Let me just say yes. this right now. God created sex. So how on earth can sex between a husband and a wife be wrong? Listen, yeah. perish the thought right now. Mash That's it right. up right now in yeah. Jesus' name. Listen to yes. me. If you want to have oral sex, go and go do it. That's it. If your husband likes you in lingerie, galanga pick it up, good ass. That's it. That's if you it. want to try a new position, fling up your foot, the please. Yes. If yes, you sir. want to explore different perfumes and massage oils and lubricants, go on mm -hmm. feet in a go on feet, man. Some women feel comfortable dancing for their husbands. Look here, I was one of those persons. I remember my husband just come in one day and I just decided to listen to me. I am going to run in my back. And when I run him back, I am going to put on one of him work shirts and yeah, I am going to put on some music and I'm going to put oh, him in one chair and I'm mm -hmm. going to dance for him. Yes, and girl. I dance yes, girl. for him. And listen yes. to me, me never did done the dance, you know. Uh -huh. <laughs> me never did done the dance. <laughs> because listen to me. Instead of I am going to let him go to a strip club or if mm -hmm. I'm going to see somebody out the road, I am going to be him stripper. That's right. But you talk about that. You see the book here too. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Turn your trash into erotic treasure. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Your panty party bra bazaar. Cut out the crotch of a pair of panties or oh, cut out the hip area of a bra. You can use all lace that you might have to line the area around the opening. Oh, a oh, shirt oh. to flirt. Ooh. Use one of his old shirts and cut holes in it to reveal erotic places on your body. Mm. A G string string for the good thing. Use a strand of oh, pearls. Oh, oh. His necktie and make yourself a G string with the blood of mercy. Jesus. Listen. Lord, number four. Holes, holes and poles. What Dress are your colored pantyhose, matching hey, high heels hey. and jewelry, and nothing else. Look here, no man. And try several seductive poses that is standing, yes. sitting, or lying yes. in a different yes. places. The floor, yeah. the bed, yeah. the couch, the chair, yeah. and the table. Talk and about five, it. Rip and strip. Dress Boy, in top top oil, bed sheets, old yeah. t-shirt, panties, yeah. scarf, Boy. or pair of jeans, and invite him to zip, to rip, strip on, on zip it off you. Rip it off. Strip Ooh. it off. Slip it off. Zip it off. <laughs> This this a posse, no joke. Other items can be used, include Listen. a ribbon tied around your neck or ankle, oh. balloons tied to a string around Strang your waist. me and tie me up. Hard, Strang me and tie hard me up. Oh to strategic parts of your body and lace yes. straw hats or fans used in dancing. Talk you can turn it. everyday household items into erotic items that can add spice to your marriage and have your husband begging for more. Oh, child, 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 child. Listen, this book is awesome. So, to answer the question, <laughs> are certain sexual acts and items worldly within a marriage? Hell no. No, no. Hell no. Marriage is so fun. Yes. And you is. can create yes, yes. your own fun. If you don't want to go to a, 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 to a toy store, and buy a sex toy you can create, create your, your own, own. Create your own stuff that's right anything in the house you can turn into a anything sex in other house once you are committed that's where it become easier i want you guys if you have anything to to add to the show any question to add to the show feel free to highlight it in the chat or if you want you can email us so that we can talk about it underneath it all who are we sexually Bible, cufflinks, and stilettos with Giselle St. James. For mature audiences only.